So uh, brake pads and spring protectors just put on Rosie the Rover. Not too bad a job. Spring protectors are dead easy. Just the two screws and they're um, self-cutting. So that was all right. I've sprayed all underneath the arches with the um, Lano Shield, which I've put somewhere else over there. Um, just everything I could see. Basically, do not get it on brakes. Um, and the only sort of thing I will advise you is when I was getting the. It's an easy job. Dead easy job to do to do the pads on that one. The easiest cars I've done because um, there's literally there's no hardware. The pads just sit in the caliper carrier and there's no hardware to mess around with. Some pads come with hardware, some don't. I've just put Borg and Beck in and um, they don't. Um, but what I got as well was 7mm hex keys because I've got a brilliant set of around here somewhere, usual organisation, um, of Weira Allen keys which are absolutely fantastic but you can guess what the only size that's not in there is seven mil. Fortunately, I'd already got I'd already got these, and I can't remember what car I got them for. Um, but they are, you know, BMW U seven mil on the brakes, and um, I'm pretty sure I've not had the brakes apart on the Rover before. I don't know, I might have done. Who knows? But anyway, I'd already got them, so panic over. Um, but I'll, I'll put a link to these, these are by Laser and I did need a breaker bar to just crack the pins at first but as soon as you've cracked they'll just come out with a ratchet and it's a usual story, I had a slight squeak on the front right and I thought I'll have a look because it's it's a bit cooler today, it's only about 21 so I thought great time to do them, so I'll have a look and I did it, it was all alright so I cleaned everything up um, uh, Prior warning there is anti-seize in use for you, those of you that do not like antifreeze. Antifreeze? Anti-seize. But you know, I've used it 30 odd years and I've never had an issue with it. There is a school of thought that you do not need to use it and that's that's quite true on newer cars. Because new new cars, new pads and stuff, they tend to use like um, what they call brake glue or caliper glue. Or they'll have a sticky pad now on the back of the um, on the back of the brake pads and you just literally stick one side to the caliper and one side to the piston and that, that's how they stop them squeaking and stuff but um, you know they'll still go that's gone through a winter well from July it's gone from July as a daily through a winter with the salted roads and then it's just done the 3000 mile trip round Scotland and then I've used it as a daily for a little while again so you know, he's done some miles, and the old brake pads, to be honest, let's, let's get them. They weren't actually that worn, but the braking wasn't good, and this is a make I haven't heard of. Altel or something like that, Actel, something like that. I've never heard of them, and I've sp <laughs> I've spent a fair bit of my career as a test driver bedding in brakes and stuff like that it's, it's one of the jobs we do, we bed brakes in and do brake development etc there's a whole department dedicated to that and I've never heard of them So, uh, but I've put Borg and Beck on I've literally just took it three mile around the block just to make sure everything's alright and it's already braking better so you know that's good so what I might do is I don't like having mismatched pads, so I might get some Borg and Beck for the rear axle and do the rear axle as well, even though they're hardly worn. I'm going to be having the same friction material all around, which is good. Um, right, I'm going to stop this video now and almost immediately going to film another one because something, let's just cover up Captain Sweaty Pants, something has come in the post from that there America. And it's the um, Compton Tensioner for the ZX10, which I've been waiting weeks and weeks for. The US Postal System at the minute, they're blaming COVID, because why not? It's um, shite at the minute, apparently. But that, this was actually posted, uh, date of mailing. See, they, they do their address the wrong way around and their dates the wrong way around. But this was posted on the 14th of the 6th, so not bad. 
So maybe he's just waited till he made a batch up, even though it said it was in stock. Sometimes they wait, you know, they're never going to sell millions of them, so they'll probably wait till they've got, I don't know, 10 or 20 on order and they'll just buzz them out. But either way, it's here now. So um, the next video will be um, fitting the Compton part to the tensioner. So I'm going to have a cup of tea in my brekkie. Although I'm going to say breakfast, it's about half past 12 now. Uh, and uh, we'll crack on. So cheers, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> There's two little caps, rubber caps on the pins and normally you can just pull them out. But there's one. Not in bad condition really. So it undersealed all this. This is all that's actually un undersealed. See some of these annoying kids are at it again, because it's a school holidays. These are a seven mil Allen, and you'll be pleased to know that a lot of Allen key kits don't come with a seven mil. No, she ain't moving. Time for the big boy.
that's interesting, looks like. Yeah, pad wear sensor's actually been rubbing on the tyre. It shouldn't be anywhere near it. Ah, that's because it's come out of its clip, fair enough. I've not got a pad sensor warning on or anything, it's just we've got a squeaky brake and I think just cleaning the pins will do, but I've got new pads so the metal will go in. These pins are always a lot longer than what you think as well. got the uh, lana shield out as well because I'm going to just spray what I can see with lano shield while I'm here because these brakes haven't done bad because they were the same brakes that were on it when I got the car in sort of July so it's done a winter and it's done the 3000 miles plus trip around Scotland without having a spanner laid on it so it's overdue Looking for me old for me spring guards. One there, there's one up there somewhere. I'll fit those while we're here. back again because you can st turn the steering towards you to get to get better access but there's the pin not bad it's just that the old grease has dried out and that's probably why the um, why the brakes were just squealing a little bit <laughs> weren't bad if I don't get my bonts in the way I think basically there's loads and loads of meat on the pads but the um, Greasing, but as I've got the pads, I might as well put them in. That's going to definitely be out of Yeah, it's coming. This one's being a bugger. Grease on that one. Right, so we can clean them up and we can get the caliper out. Just gotta be careful of this wear sensor. And it, I believe it's only on the right hand side. doing this just to get the piston in a little bit because we've opened the master cylinder there we go pistons going back there we go yeah lovely job when I'm trying to break my legs look at that loads of meat yeah they just need cleaning up Otherwise, really good neck. They're nearly new. <laughs> Don't know what mine is, John. Oh, right. Let's 
ta nhiều sensor out, that's its little clip. You can see on the hardware look how it's gone dry. Well we'll have a look at the new pads because it's been wearing out. Spray time! Dee. Interesting to note that they don't actually use any hardware in the caliper hang on, the, um, the pads just hang on there. Which is, uh, you know, it's not uncommon. Caliper don't look too bad. Sliding surface is cleaned, pins have been on a wire wheel and greased, these surfaces have been cleaned, so all I've got to do now, and you can argue this all day long, I'm going to put some anti seize on the piston face, and on the back here, and on the runners, just there, where, where it goes. Um, there are two schools of thought on anti seize one is no, 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 you should never use it, and the other is yes, you use it. Pretty much any bolt that you take out that doesn't require lock tightening or anything. I always put some on. I've been using it for more than 30 years with no issues at all and it means I can get the bolt out again if I need to instead of struggling like a gorilla on a swing. But you can argue amongst yourselves about the use of anti seize. I'm going to use it. If you don't like it, you don't use it. Simple as that. Um, I've been using it on bikes and cars for 30 years with no issues at all. Um, where people have issues is that they put too little or too much on or they leave it there. So, um, every time you use it you should clean it off. And there we go, it's sorted. So right, put the pads in. I'll refit the wear sensor. And pads actually. The old pads had only worn about 3mm. But as we're here, we'll stick the new ones on. Borgenbeck. Unfortunately, I'd already bought them when I noticed that uh, one of my faves, discount MG Rave spares, do Borgenbeck as well. bending in a little bit sometimes. Oh, I'm going to 
bend them in a bit. Just one side's being a bottom hole. Take your time, you know, have a good feel, make sure everything's where it should be. And um, probably do a visit from my mad uncle now. Oh, hello. You alright? Yes, thank you. Are you? Yes, thank you. Are you What's it look like? Well, I don't know. We should. No. Man of your calibre. Yeah. A man of your calibre should know. A calibre calibre. Lovely. I don't put no uh, rank shoe. shoes. Shoes? What do you think it is? An Austin puddle jumper? Should have been you, you fucking prick. <laughs> Peds, you <laughs> dog. Yeah. Yeah, new brake pack. Yes, didn't really need them, but oh. I thought I'll clean everything and I've got them anyway, so. Yes. I'll bally well do them. Yes! I'm going to nip up and stay and take that thing back. Jolly good. This is all right. These are all right, aren't they? Yeah, oh yeah, they're fine. Yes. Yeah, it just wanted, because it's gone through the winter, it just wanted cleaning. Yes. My back's off a little bit today, do I have that? No, I don't know. Were you jumping off the wardrobe again? No, only twice. <coughs> I know, sometimes they're going really easy. Yeah, I know. Like you can get it there and book it over. And other times, they don't want to know. Shut up, you noisy little twats. And it was as easy as that. Mm. Oh dear.
Right, next thing, spring protectors from Rimmer Brothers. The kit comes with two protectors, one on each side, they're not handed. And four screws. Too small, too big. And I believe the small ones go there and the big ones go there. So we'll see. Right, let's see what a cock up we can make of it. Right, where's my little screwdriver, which I had just two minutes ago? Right, now the holes we want are there. Should be one about up here. There we go. Because uh, the screws are self-cutting, so. Oh, lovely. Oh, simply lovely. Oh, there we are. There are we. Okay. Side of that. A quick sniffle with the lanolin. so much easier. Right, get the appropriate socket. Now these need upward force to start to cut. Which is, you know, not a problem. And I think by the looks of it, they're probably 10 now. Oh yeah, not a good guess. Bloody 10 mil gone. Well, there it is. <sighs> Story of my life. Can I get in? Yeah. And I bet this one's an 8 mil, I can guarantee it. idea of this is if you do get a road spring brake it tends to whip around and go in the tyre and the idea is that is allegedly um, supposed to help prevent it, it's not a guarantee by any means. Right, what we've got here then, do 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 do, adapter route. Right. Oh, we can get away, that's alright. 
bit of a messy job. Get the right one, Jim. Hello. Hello. If you want to do either, so you're very busy. Yes. You gotta do both. Yeah. Always do both. You, you, it. you never ever do one. Got some spring protectors as well. Some what? Spring protectors. Oh good. Nice. Oh, that's good, yeah. It's you know when the if the snap, yeah, they come round and get your tire, that's yeah. supposed to help stop it. Oh, I thought good. well for twenty odd quid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, and I'll see you in about an hour. Okey dokey. I'll take it back today while the iron's off, you know what I mean? Well, he'll remember you, won't they? I should bloody well hope he'd remember you after yesterday. <laughs> Nearly called the police, he did. He didn't. A very nice old gentleman. He's going to go and buy some parts for his model railway. Uh, he went for a set of points yesterday and got the wrong hand. So, yeah. Gonna go in there. there we go, it's just starting to tighten. <coughs> it's imperative as well that this is completely flush against that. That's what this window's for, to ensure there's no gaps. There we go. You don't want to over gorilla it because it's cutting its own thread. That'll do. Right, we'll go back to his milk. And we'll snug the other one. And the other side will basically be a repeat of the same, so there's no there's no need to film it. Well I said. The old micro of doom is sounding a little throat. You can see how it's pulling it up as it snugs up. There we go, that ain't moving anymore. Sorted. So uh, now all we've got to do, put the road wheel back on. But I've noticed in the master cylinder, obviously the fluid level's gone up. So if you're buying a bike or a car, and you notice the brake fluid level's low, don't just top it up out of habit. Have a look at the pads. Because it's something you just don't think about. As the pads wear, the fluid's gonna drop. So that's just one thing to um, just bear in mind. It's that bear again. Right, let's clear up round here. And we'll get the wheel nuts back on. Sorted. You don't need 